you're going to the Kentucky Derby, though, right? I'm hoping. You got invited. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it happen. It'll be pretty cool. Okay. Then this is going to be your baseline. Okay. All right. You have to compare all the mint juleps you have that weekend to this one. Let's see what stands up. Yeah. By the third or fourth, they're all going to taste. <laughs> I hope not. All right. So we're going to start with fresh mint. Just grab one of these sprigs, and we're going to dump in about ten leaves into your shaker there. Okay, that looks about right for me. And you can do this in a shaker or a glass. It doesn't really matter. I guess one advantage of the shaker is that it's going to get it a little bit colder. Oh, just so. Look at that. We're yeah. getting into the symmetry. Awesome. Okay, um, three ounces of bourbon. So this is your one and a half mm -hmm. jigger. Two of those. Right up to the top. So three ounces. So this is a serious whiskey drink. It's a serious whiskey drink, and it's meant to be sipped on a long, hot afternoon. You just hang out and take your time with it. Half ounce. So this is three quarters on this side. We'll do about two thirds full to get a half ounce of simple syrup, like that. Okay. Okay, muddler time. Muddler. You don't want to demolish the mint. You don't actually okay. want to shred it. You just want to kind of lightly press it around to get some of those oils out of it and infused into the whiskey and sugar. A little twist at the bottom? Yeah, a little twist at the bottom. You just kind of, a, a gentle grind. You don't want to have shreds in the end and you should be able to smell the mint a little bit when it's starting to come up. Okay, and grab an ice cube, drop it in, let it sit for a little bit, and we're gonna crush some ice. Okay. Really crush some ice. So you have a Lewis bag. If you don't have a Lewis bag, a couple of these Ziplocs together work wrapped in a dish towel. Okay. So just grab some ice, load her up, You just want to kind of hold it shut on the end so it doesn't come flying out on you. Right. Grab your muddler and go to town. Check it out. It's good. Looks pretty good. All right. Good to go. Poor ice never did anything to me, but. Right. <laughs> so just dump it right on into your uh, julep cup there. You're going to fill it up about two thirds of the way. Save some for afterwards. Okay, this is ready to go now. Okay. We're gonna strain it in there so you get a double strain. One like this, and then a, this one also, just in case there's any little shreds of mint that, that wanna sneak out. Just pour it right on through. This thing will stay cold for hours. It won't last that long because it's too good, but theoretically it would stay cold. Top it off with the rest of your ice. This is heresy to some people, but some like to cut it a little bit with tonic. I'm not gonna inflict that on you, but I'm just demonstrate. Just pour a little bit in there to give it some fizz. And then the next to final step is grab your spoon. You just wanna Try to break up the ice a little bit that's sticking to the inside of the glass. And then just give it a little stir. And that will help get some more frost going. Probably don't want to put your tongue against the glass either. That, you know, <laughs> yeah, they'll have to call the fire department to come have cut a you off. Flashback. Right. Okay, then the garnish is pick whichever chunk of mint looks big to you. Tear off the stem about like that. And then you kind of smack it against the rim and that helps release all of the aroma of the mint. So this is one of those drinks that lets out a lot of frustration. <laughs> yeah, the glass, yeah, there's a lot the of eye. smacking and crashing. A um, couple straws so you don't 
wind up with the fire department coming out. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So now when I do go to the Kentucky Derby, I definitely can be prepped and ready to go. You can, yeah, someone can hand it to you and you say, well, I make it better at home. Yeah. You can turn into a real snot, and you know they like that down in Kentucky when California guys show up and give them some attitude. I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do.